This is the movement without actuation. At first, the robot doesn't know how to move at all. Now the robot is going to learn how to locomote to the next bar. Motion planning of such a robot is a difficult problem because of its non-holonomy. Our robot is able to generate desirable motions by itself using our new heuristic method. The algorithm is based on trial and error of animals and human beings to obtain better motions. After the motion learning process, the robot can locomote from branch to branch, forward and backward. The posture of the robot is measured by gyroscopes built into the arms, and the joint angles are measured by encoders. The robot is calibrating its gripper position and closes it when it approaches the target bar. This motion is so-called the underhand motion. The robot can perform another motion called the overhand motion. This motion is naturally more difficult than the underhand motion because the robot has to stop the turning of the arm against the gravity force and the movement is liable to become unstable. However, our robot also succeeded in performing continuous overhand locomotion. It needs more torque than the underhand motion, but this is more efficient motion with respect to time and energy consumption. When the robot fails to catch the target bar, it can recover by swinging with arms to obtain energy by a method based on parametric excitation. By continuously performing two motions, namely the motion to control the swing amplitude and the motion to approach the target, the robot can catch the target bar from any initial state.